Right, faceless. Every four turns. Yeah, faceless manipulator. Copies the minion of your choice. It sounds good with Phelan, because I can copy the tier 6 we, we choose. So that sounds like it makes sense. I do actually still like Shenvala quite a lot. We're gonna go Phelan. So we like three games to realize this one can copy Golden Minions? Yeah. Like each faceless you get massively increases in value. The first one you usually copy something okay. And then the next one, you're probably copying like a, a high tier minion or a golden minion. What's your strategy this time? Um so wind up ripstar mind mock. Ripsnarl. Elise or Reef Explorer. Go Elise. Walking for Warpwing or Eliza. I should go with the tempo option here, which is Eliza. So, copies of Eliza isn't amazing, but because we could like tier to six Don't quite quickly. And then Eliza's going to be the best tempo. And we know we already have a pirate. So I think Eliza wants to pick there. I've got some fresh recruits for you. Great. I can bring in more powerful minions now. You get more faces if you have Jakari. I guess that's a reason to go walking fort. We want Jakari. And so walking fort is good with Jakari as well. So that was maybe an option. <laughs> Eliza scam time? I would like to. It's really good, like, early on. And then we can, like, maybe use the faceless afterwards to transition away from it into something else. Probably, like, a phalanx cop or something. Welcome back. How's it going out there? Um I don't love this. Let's go step three. We'll do the same. So we could use our first faceless on a tier 3. Probably don't want to do that. I'm probably going to use it on a lease. is actually quite a good minion. I could just faceless the Overseer. Nah, I think we go Overseer Groundkeeper. And then face the sea at least next turn. Oh, I'd rather be bison. Tia, play at least face the silly scroll. I mean, I could also hold the faces even longer. Probably not a good idea though. Have a good battle, friend. Oh. 
The battle is really raging out there. My quest begins here. My quest begins here. I mean, double scallywag would have been good for Eliza, but we would just have to keep them for so long, and they're not really that strong. Oh! I think we can go Felhound here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And the uh, Legion Overseer definitely makes it more worth it. So next turn, we roll, we roll twice and buy two. Anchor would be insane. Right, what's the best, best comp to go in this lobby? Phalanx, probably. But if we don't get Phalanx, Parrots can be good. If we get t t the Tethys, like not Eliza, but Tethys stuff. Dragoners can be good if we get Bran. Hmm. Tethys Pirate's probably the best, though. You can still make a comeback. Nice. That's good. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Time saver. There's less rolls for Elise there, so probably not. Picky is okay. That's what I would have picked. Fell Drake, definitely. Fish are friends, not Gambler. Food. Up the momentum, friend. Um, two more rolls. So I could sell this and this, roll twice, and then we would actually get monkey. Um... Let's do it. One. Go ahead and hire one of these. Oh, I could just get Gambler again. Now two. <laughs> Tethys, Cultus Satara, Mechadraxus. I mean, I think we try and go pirates. Peanut. Get our APM ready. Okay, so we could just use the first, we could use the first Faceless just on a normal Tethys. <clears throat> yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it. 
I started watching Blue Eyed Samurai last night. What a show! I'm four episodes in and I love it. One of the best I've seen this year. Would recommend. Okay. Nice. Blue Eyed Samurai. Where, where can you watch that? On Netflix. I think you can win this thing. A master of the sword lives life in disguise while seeking revenge in Edo period Japan. Japan. Edo period, Edo period. Cartoon. It does look like a cartoon. Nice work out there. Yeah. Keep up the pressure. Right. Here we go. Faces Tethys and Tia. Want a peanut? Nanas? So at least it's just for tempo. Now we are in business. Cory is like good. <laughs> so we get rid of the Elise. Both the Elise. By fate or fortune. Eliza Phalanx Warpwing. I think we go Eliza for now. By fate or fortune. Scallywag. Nah, let's try and find the really good stuff. Ah. Oh. Like that. That's really good, good stuff. Get some minions in play. Oh, Golden Eliza. Okay. Okay. Would you care for a spot on team? A melody of love. In some ways. There we go. <clears throat> and I mean, next time we get faceless, we might have golden tethys. So we oh, could actually go for another golden there. tethys. Also, with the balladists, it might make sense to put all of the balladists on the same minion. Because if we have one humongous minion, that gets copied by the faceless. So I might just put all of these balladists on one thing. Right, this has got to be a top two. We've got to turn this into a top two here. We're doing good. Nice work out there. Can Keep I up the pressure. Eliza, we don't we don't need to give her more Elizas. Put this back in the pool. Underhanded dealer, definitely. The cards don't lie. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> Blade collector. <laughs> Here. Don't need to put the blade collector in yet. I could probably start with Phalanx actually. And then hold the rest for next turn. Because we're not getting another pirate from Tethys anyway. I guess I can do one roll, see if we get something really good. Okay, nothing that's that good. Okay. Everyone's gunning for you. Watch out. Ooh, Lee, right. okay. Fine. This is the kind of matchup where we need a cleave for. Yeah, because they cleave us. Okay, we still get the win there. Good. Let's find Cadgar on its heart. Yeah, I'm sure it won't take us too long to, uh, to find Cadgar. 
Surely in a hundred or so rolls nice we'll find it, right? Roll. Keep up the pressure. Follow this. So faceless, we're getting two turns. We're kind of getting there slowly. Aha! Will get you a Golden Tessus. So we can get rid of Eliza at some point. Anyone? Another Tethys. Um. I might not. I don't really need this many Tethys, I don't think. Need and want are two different things. Alright, we'll buff this one for now. Underhanded dealer, we want that. <laughs> I love catching some waves. Next time we get rid of Eliza. Let's see if you can stay on top. Go go go! Got some fresh recruits for you. Drop those. Want a Luther. For justice. That thing. And that for thing. Justice. Exactly what you were looking for. Now what? Because we're gonna copy something next turn. Probably, honestly, Golden Underhanded Dealer is really good. Down a and up I could a copy Tethys, but we've got a lot of Tethys now. <laughs> oh ho, you're moving up in the world. Mortar parties here, mortar parties here. Ah, you didn't make the cut. <laughs> Target mortar parties here. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Gotta keep going fast. It's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. You didn't make the cut. I wouldn't be caught oh, justice. dead. Um. Not much to do now, really. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. <laughs> okay, so I think at the end of next turn, we want to face this golden, un golden underhanded dealer or golden tethys. Everyone's gunning for you. Watch out. Tethys. You're good at this. All right, there we go. Anyone? Let's go. Fight, fate, or fortune. Are you ready for thunder? 
We probably would get brand. That's what I would have built. Now, fine. Go now. Go to the It's not the strongest. Don't know why I'd sell every fan brand though. I wouldn't be quite dead. A melody of love. The fate of the world. Down a minion and up a goal. Go to the team. 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 the team. Go to the team. Go to the team. Go to the Go to the the there she blows. I ready now. Bye. You got this. You're way ahead. <laughs> Demon part I'm dead. All right. Your minions really pulled their weight. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Oh, look, a delight. The odds are in my favor. Rock, rock, and rock. There she blows. Oh, what was that? Okay. The odds are in my favor. For justice. Gold in my teeth, gold in my hat. Nah, you didn't make the gold cut. Gold in my teeth, gold in my hat. You didn't make gold the cut. Gold in my hat. Don't think we need another one to have a dealer now. Down a minion and up a gold. <laughs> Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Hiring that minion will get you a triple. That's a great play. I can't wait to see this shake out. Hold him a teeth, hold him a hat. <laughs> I love getting some <laughs> I love getting some in my favor. <laughs> Target Lord. The odds are in my favor. Fight it. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. Wow. I didn't like that one either. This is going to generate a lot of things I don't have room in my hand for. Hand space is a very real issue. Okay, Cleave has a lot more health now. Everyone's gunning for you. Watch out. Ending the turn with 20 gold. Why not? Why the hell not? Should you really buy minions when on every turn? Yeah, I should really, like a Leroy or something. Or Venomous. Okay, top two, good. You're good at this. You're down a minion and up a goal. You're down a minion and up a goal. You're down a minion and up a goal. So anyway, I started blasting. The are in my favor. Good bell cries, minion to end on. I wouldn't be caught dead. The cards don't lie. Better hire a recruit while you can. 
Oh yeah, minion to end on, I forgot about that. Yeah, Eliza's is totally good enough, yeah, for sure. Dep yeah, Eliza is actually kinda useless at this stage to be honest. Everyone's gonna go then. Watch out! What's it gonna be? Oh, they're so big! They've got double underhanded dealer. Our cleave was good. I think I need to beat them here. Otherwise they are. The bigger pirate gamer takes the victory. Nice, eleven seven three nine. 